All right, week five. We have had an extraordinary few weeks and two back-to-back 30-point -back games. This is unprecedented territory for me as a fan. I haven't experienced this much excitement ever so I have no clue what to expect anymore I usually I'm happy with any commander's win I am to be top of the league we need to dismantle this Browns team and they have a terrible offense but they have a good defense this is not gonna be easy but let's see how it goes let's get it good stand by the defense on fourth down they sacked Jaden and we had a three and out on the first drive another great stand by the defense wait Jaden escapes the pocket he launches it Terry McLaurin, 65 yards? What? That might have been the most beautiful deep pass I have seen from our team since like 2015, 2016 Kirk Cousins. That was beautiful. And Jaden threw a red zone interception? Jaden make mistake? Jaden will bounce back from mistake. The defense holds up really good, turned that interception into nothing. And a great play by Eckler to keep the drive alive on fourth down. b Rob breaks the tackle. Touchdown, B-Rob, baby. Let's go. Money was sure if he was going to play this week, and he got a tutty. Let's freaking go. One-on-one -on -one versus B-Rob, you know who's going to win that one. Oh, and Jane just misses Zach Ertz on that deep route. But that could have been such a beautiful play. And Frankie Louvu sacks the Browns quarterback. Let's go. Frankie Louvu is like a firecracker on that defense. Like He just brings all the energy. And the Browns make a field goal. It's fitting that the only guy that has scored for the Browns is Dustin Hopkins. Eckler breaks loose. Eckler's going downfield. He's going. Oh, they're going to catch him. Did he fumble? <gasps> but the keys is on it. Okay, good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Scared me a little bit, but we're good. And Austin Seaver sinks it through for a field goal. Oh, it's so nice having a consistent kicker. And our defense brings down the Browns quarterback again. A flood of commanders right there. But John Allen at the front of it and Frankie Lubu. This defense is firing me up. And what a bucket on that third down from Jaden to Luke McCaffrey. We're going for it on fourth down. All right, let's see what happens. Jaden rolls out right. He's going to take off. He's going to get the first down. But he's going to get a lot more. He's at the 20, 10. Oh, man, what if he scored a touchdown right there? Gosh. And B-Rod runs in for another touchdown. Let's go. Gives Major Tutty a big old hug. Oh, my gosh, I love this team. B-Rob wasn't supposed to play, now he's got two touchdowns. Their O-line is so bad, we pushed the running back into the Browns quarterback and for a sack. Bobby Wagner just mauling them dudes. I mean, our whole defensive line just destroyed them on that play. But that was beautiful. I mean, freaking beautiful, man. Never enjoyed seeing a quarterback get hit so much in my life. Jane launches it deep. Deami Brown, touchdown! Where's that been for four years? And this 24-3 going into the half? Are we actually going to rest our starters at some point in this game? Have we ever done that before? A little reverse to Terry, okay. Terry fumbled? Terry's capable of making a mistake? I guess he is human after all. You know how bad of a team you have to be to run the field down all the way to the two-yard line and then knock it in the end zone? Yep, that's Cleveland for you. That's what happens when you have an incompetent quarterback. And Dustin Hopkins sinks another field goal in for the Browns. Jane was swarmed in the pocket and escaped for like 20 yards. Him and Lamar next week are going to be electric. Jeremy McNichols with a touchdown, baby. We got B-Rob, Eckler, McNichols. That is freaking the three-headed monster. That is Cerberus in the backfield, bro. And Bobby Wagner sacks the Browns quarterback. But in the middle of the sack, he tried to throw the ball away. And Frankie Louvu picks it off. This team is so much fun. And then, and then Bobby Wagner. Gosh. Eckler on the screen pass all the way down to the 20. This team keeps their foot on their necks. Jaden goes to the end zone for Terry. Oh, Terry dropped it. That was a perfectly placed ball, too. Rare drop by Terry, but he's had a great game over 100 yards. So, you know, I mean, I'm not, not complaining. Austin Seabird sinks it for another field goal, 34-6. to six. Ah, This is beautiful. And I don't want to see Jaden again on this in this game. I want to see Marcus Mariota. Get Jaden out of there. And Dante Fowler getting in on the action and sacking the Browns quarterback. Everyone gets a sack. You get a sack, you get a sack, you get a sack. We got guys playing freaking rock, paper, scissors on the sideline of who gets to go in on a play. Before, all of our players have only wanted to get off the field and never get back on. Now they can't wait to be back on. We have a culture. And the Browns score a touchdown. That's irritating. Like, I just, not, not that bad. I mean, we're still, like, you know, demolishing this team and ripping them apart. It would have been nice if we didn't allow a touchdown all game.
We win 34-13. I don't remember the last time we legitimately got to sit our starters for a whole quarter. And you know what the best part is? Miles Garrett was my biggest fear coming in today. Didn't even register a whole stat. Cornelius Lucas and Brandon Coleman are absolutely killing it at the rotation at left tackle. Jaden probably had roughly his worst day of the season. And we won 34-13. This kid is so special. And next week we got Baltimore. This is the Baltimore is really the only team in our upcoming games that I legitimately think has a chance to beat us. And, you know, this will be a great test for us. Kind of a mirror of ourselves on Sunday. It's going to be awesome. I'm hyped. Let's get it. Let's go. We're 4-1, baby, for the first time in my life as a Commanders fan. This is unprecedented. I don't know how to feel. Hail to the Commanders, baby. Raise hail, baby. Let's go.